welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Chicago River winding its way through the heart of the Windy City, our site tonight. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this Game 3 of the playoffs on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David, hey Dave. Hey Kevin, the Bulls last season missed the playoffs for the fourth straight time. Coach Billy Donovan said, you've got to enjoy the process, the struggles, the joys. The Donovan knows what he's talking about. I think he's on the right track. DA, thank you. You look at Chicago, so with Williams on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got the franchise. Lights out out there with Griffin. Then it's Curry. And for Chicago, they've got ABC. Captain clutches out there with Junior. And it's ABC. And it's Hamilton in a point. And so here we go. The 76ers to start it. And there's the pass to Lights out. And good. The front, they bounce off the right side of the rim. Lights out's got the opening bucket of the night here for the 76ers. Hamilton with it. An easy two points on the layup. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. Comes up empty down low. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Here's Terrell and the three off target. And now the 76ers on the break. Hamilton against Curry. And the foul called on ABC. That's his first foul. Curry finds Griffin. Tips it back in. Hard work and soft hands. Guys, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Matthews dishes to Junior. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Four on the shot clock. That one goes in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Chicago shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. It's tipped and stolen by Hamilton. Here's ABC. That's tipped, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones, and now their defense is in overdrive. And there's the drive. Three on three. Matthews with the steal. Here's ABC. Oh, what a dunk! Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. The circus dunk for me right there, guys. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Nice shot by Hamilton. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will return possession. Some changes for Chicago. Kevin Durant comes in for Captain Clutch. And it's Jordan in for Hamilton. And the foul called on ABC. That's his first foul. And the Bulls making a change here. Lions checked in. Philadelphia also making some changes. The general East checked in for Griffin. And Ball subbed in for Curry. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Pax checked in for the Bulls. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. It's stolen by Bryant. 
Has to bat. Fires for three. First shot, first miss. He's out of the blocks fast. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for Chicago. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> He's one of the few players in the NBA who can pull something like that off. Outside Jordan. Outside Bryant. Misses the three. The 76ers trail by four. And the 76ers tack on two more. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Jordan, the pass to KD. Here's ABC. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. Here's the franchise, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And that makes it a tie ball game. Here's Jordan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. Bulls shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And so Jordan nails both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Hull with a wide open look. Knocks down the three ball. Well, he's an incredible ball handler at 6'7. Lamelo can get space for his shot practically any time he wants to. Durant for three. The shot comes out. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit, but when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Philadelphia ahead, up one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on two... back with you all set to bring you more action from game three and a breakdown here guys the hustle stats for philadelphia well in the first half of play they're closing out aggressively blocking shots a key indicator of their activity on the defensive side another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break transition opportunity they're really keeping it up tempo so far so with griffin sitting on the bench here's the five for doc rivers right now just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Williams, that's good. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Personal foul. For Chicago, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Some changes for Chicago. Juniors checked in for Pat, and it's Matthews in for Bryant. Lights out checked in for Philadelphia. Curry comes in for the franchise. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the 76ers. Oh, 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 yeah. It's great seeing ball finish with strength like that. Showing off the athleticism with that rim-rocking throwdown. Buries it from three-point range. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Adding to their lead. And you see that field goal percentage for the game steadily heading north. Matthews with a steal. And then Matthews with the jam. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that guy. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Now, I don't know if this field goal percentage is sustainable, but if they can stay close to what they've done, in shooting the ball. They'll, they'll run away with this one. He had a nice open look right there. 
for three. And that's now seven points for lights out. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. From deep, another three for Philadelphia. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Out to the right wing. Here's Terrell. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Terrell's got five points so far. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Matthews with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Junior kicks to Jordan. There's the triple. Good on the three-point shot. And it's a six-point Bulls lead. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. We're riding that hot hand. ABC's checked in for the Bulls. Hamilton comes in for Jordan. The general he's checked in for Philadelphia. Griffin comes in for Williams. Shoots the three. Headshot off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. Yeah, fought hard really all game long. And, and, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe a, a little couple minute surge there at the end would do it. But the inability to kind of really lock in down the stretch ultimately prevented them from coming away with the win. Cloaked loose. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession. The franchise is checked in for the 76ers. Substitution. The franchise. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. They swipe it. There's Captain Clutch. And Griffin sends it back. And how about the timing there? Griffin using that athleticism on the defensive end to block him. Two points. That one goes. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Hamilton kicks to Junior. The kick out to Matthews. From deep three-point range. And Curry pulls it down. The 76ers trail by six. That bucket in in no time at all. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Here's Hamilton. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Here's the franchise. Good shot there and it's off target. Chicago leading by four. Pass to Hamilton. There's 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Passes it to ABC. Gets the three-pointer to fall. ABC's got five points so far. Knocks it loose. Matthews with the steal. To the paint. Here's ABC. Lays it up off the glass. ABC's got the lead up to nine now for Chicago. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? The effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. They are so much more the physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for the Bulls, this could be the pivotal game in this series, and they're playing like it. They may not be running away with it just yet, but you could just sense in the first half how focused they are on grabbing that two games to one lead. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bulls? They made every possession count by limiting the mistakes. Very disciplined about protecting the ball and making the right play. If they keep this up, 
lead should be safe. Don't get cocky and lose just because you're ahead. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? Well, it's never fun. You play against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They could doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. When you look at ABC in this game, he's been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. So with Durant sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Matthews out there with ABC. Then it's Junior. And it's ABC, and it's Captain Clutch coming at the four. You know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. The Bulls have looked good at the line. That they're perfect in four attempts. Shooting two. The first one falls. Hamilton hits both of them. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a 13-point game. And he uses both hands to jam it in. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively, turning into easy points. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will Number at the defensive end. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulder. He's been tremendous offensively. It's stolen by Curry. Takes it inside. Chicago grabs the miss. And priority number one has got to be the finish, guys, not the fancy stuff. Matthews passes to ABC. And they pick up two. ABC's got 11 points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Curry looking around. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. So for the ball, Kevin Durant comes in for Junior. And it's Jordan in for Hamilton. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Another miss by Philadelphia. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Jordan's shot is off. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. The drive by Jordan. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paintball. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Pax checked in for Captain Clutch. Williams, he's checked in for the 76ers. On defense, Chicago. They lead by 14. Rock loose from downtown. Trains the three-pointer. Ten points for him. Yeah, he's been hooping. But the rest of the team, not so much. Chicago's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Curry with the steal. Another three for Philadelphia. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Just rubbing it in their faces with that note. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Good work there as it goes. You know, at close range, Curry has a plethora of shots. You simply can't allow him to get those looks. 
Jordan dishes to KD. No good from outside. The 76ers trail by eight. The pass to the franchise. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass in the Christie Jam. A power first with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. We've seen those kinds of plays get them going in the past. And the Bulls making a change here. Lions checked in. Then for the 76ers, the general comes in for Williams. And it's ball in for Curry. Durant, the pass to Jordan. It's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Kobe. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. The franchise has got four rebounds in this game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 15-6 run. So it's Chicago again turning it over. Trying to come back, Kevin, and you can't afford too many mistakes. His fourth turnover hampering their effort. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Well, I tell you what, guys, the kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. The franchise passes the ball. Here's the oh, oh, oh. And you cannot leave anybody open on balls, team, because this guy is excellent at finding his teammates. And Bryant kicks to Jordan. No good on the three. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make three, as we saw in the first half. The 76ers trail by four. Guarded by Jordan. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley -oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Guys, I hope we get to see a few more. Whoa! He got it in! <laughs> to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man, even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Bulls lead by five. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got Griffin. The franchise is out there with Ball. And there's the general driving inside. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. To the inside. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. That's good by Terrell. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Chicago making a switch here. Matthews is checked in. Then for the 76ers, Hightop comes in for the general. And Stephen Curry subbed in for ball. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around protect the basketball, and make the simple play. In other words, guys, 
no hero ball right now. Thank you, David. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for Chicago. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, and another thing, they, they've created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten out in the transition. Hamilton against Kirk. For the three, it's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Twelve straight points off of three-pointers, and the D shows him. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Oh! oh. oh he's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. Here's lights out, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's the three, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. ABC's jumped in for Chicago. Checking into the game for your ball. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. He swipes the ball away again. And he's now tied for third most steals in a playoff game. Exhausting them with his constant hounding. You're right. The effort level just amazing. That's the one for the goal. One shot. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. They get a hand on it. Curry. Up and in on the way. Curry's got 10 points here in the second half. And the concentration Curry has. Even the oh! 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 Curry to oh! That was and, and guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted. And that's why it's going to be on to the next round for the Bulls. Free throws were a big factor in this one. You know, it, it's always great to get a lot of shots at the line, but the key they were able to convert tonight. You start making free throws, and it can get you the win. And what a huge standout performance it was for ABC. I thought his active hands were a big help. I mean, he took some chances on defense, and his gambles paid off. He got a bunch of steals. to ABC. Pocket six. Back to Hamilton. Takes the three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Bulls lead by 19. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not. Nabbing another steal. And the steals numbers, just incredible. And, and GA for a single playoff game, the third most steals in NBA history. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. They recover it, and they'll keep possession. He takes it in, and he gets the bucket. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost, he swipes the ball away again. And his unbelievable run of steals continues. Now tied for the most ever in a playoff game. And you can't call it carelessness by the offense at this point. His activity level has forced the issue. And he's now tied with the answer. Allen Iverson. What a night. And he makes the first. Both shots good from the strike. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. So it's Chicago now. KD passes to the great. That one a little long. Harden outside. 
and they do it. They'll move on to round two. A big playoff win for them. But what is it to break big in the postseason? Huh? Great point. I, I really just love the composure with which they played tonight. It, it, it's easy to get too keyed up for postseason basketball, but they kept their heads and just went about the business of winning. Well, that'll do it for now. You can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long.